Hello and welcome to another character from the Cradle vlog and today's focus is on a very special um, character from that Cradle scene but before we look at that I'd like to begin by asking you a question and that question is when does Christmas time finish for you? Now some of you uh, may be watching this thinking when does Christmas finish Sarah I've only just cleared it from the roast dinner Whilst others of you may be packing down your Christmas decorations going, yep, yeah, it's done, we're over. <laughs> so when does the Christmas period finish for you? Perhaps it's today, perhaps it's Boxing Day. Perhaps it's when you go back to work or maybe it's when the family leave for Christmas or maybe you're still waiting for family to arrive for Christmas. Perhaps it's when the children go back to school and peace is restored to the house. Maybe it's when the new year has started, or perhaps some of you might answer, it's with the coming of the kings. There's a running joke in our house that the moment the last second, uh, the last Christmas present is opened, that split second it's opened and unwrapped, my dad will appear at the door with a, Chris, uh, with a bin bag in hand, ready for all the wrapping paper. You could set your watches by it that the, that the uh, Christmas, Wrapping will come off and dad will appear at the door ready to scoop up. But Christmas is a wonderful time of year and it gives us an opportunity to celebrate so many amazing and wonderful things. As Kermit the Frog sings in a Muppet's Christmas Carol, tis the season to be jolly and joyous. But ultimately, it gives us the opportunity to remember the birth of Jesus. So to answer that question I asked, it doesn't really matter when we stop celebrating for Christmas, as long as we don't stop celebrating Jesus. As the saying goes, remember, Jesus is not just for Christmas. The Christmas period may be coming to an end, but Jesus is not. And we're reminded of that in the verse we've been looking over the Advent period. We're reminded of that in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, which said, for us, to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And one of the key words in that verse is everlasting. Jesus is here today. He's here in the same way that he was there in the stable all those thousands of years ago. He's here in the same way that he was on the, there on the cross. He's here in the same way that he'll be here forever. And not only will he be here forever, but he'll also never change. We're reminded of that in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, when it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And if you've ever been on one of the summer camps, I'm sure you can think of a tune to go with that. But it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. And actually, the Greek word used for same here can be translated as unchangeable. So the love, the grace, the way to eternal life that Jesus provides is the same, is unchangeable, yesterday, today and forever. And as we move on throughout this next year, let's not lose focus on why Jesus came that very first Christmas. As it says in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, She, Mary, will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people, he will save his people from their sins. Jesus came so that we may have eternal life with him, so that he will be with us on earth, and so that we shall be with him in heaven. And for that, I am truly thankful that Jesus is here, unchanging, forever, and is here so that, that he can save us from our sins. And all we have to do is ask. And for that, I say, thank you, Jesus. Shall we take a minute just to pray and thank Jesus for that? Thank you, Jesus, for the festive fun. Thank you for the food that has been consumed and will be consumed. Thank you for all the presents that have been given and will be given. 
But Lord, let us not forget that first Christmas when the ultimate gift was given, the gift of you, the gift that gives us eternal life, the gift that is unchanging, the gift that is here forever. So Lord, let us as we continue through this week and maybe start thinking towards the new year, not lose focus that you are here and you are the same yesterday, today and forever. And for that, we are ever so thank you. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful time, however you are celebrating the rest of Christmas. <laughs>